Hi everyone, I'm Constant Anxiety, a solo game developer working on my open world VR mercenary game. Seeing as I'm coming up on a year anniversary of learning game development, I wanted to go through what led me to this point, how I started, what I struggled with, and maybe some advice for any others out there that want to get into game development. My first dive into game development started with the Call of Duty Zombies game mode, where I would create custom maps for people online. And while I never fully released any of my maps, it got me really excited to start coding games and do level design. I started to think about it, and while I might not be able to create a million dollar hit like Stardew Valley, just maybe I'll be able to gain enough experience to fulfill my childhood dream and get a job as a game developer. So I set off, and took the most logical path in my mind, downloading every single Udemy and game dev course I could possibly find. The first course being a C++ class for Unreal Engine, in which I remember next to nothing of. But it did give me motivation to keep going. The idea that I could create a world, anything I wanted, straight from my imagination was amazing to me. So I kept going, putting in probably close to 20 hours a week, cramming every single class I could take. Blender courses, AI blueprints for Unreal, anything that could help me fulfill my dream. Three months passed and I was ready. It was time for me to create my first game. Well, I thought it was. My first idea for a game was a VR mashup of Rocket League and Griffball from Halo 3. Players would fly around on jetpacks with giant bats trying to score a goal in a giant hoop like some sort of futuristic quidditch. They'd even have power-ups like in Mario Strikers. I gave the game to my friend to test without the AI so much as having a walking animation, and it very nearly made him throw up. I quickly realized the game might not be for everyone, the flying aspect made even the most VR-hardened players want to heave. The game was not just unplayable, but I spent most of the time trying to fix bugs that a more experienced dev would probably laugh at. So back to the drawing board, or more specifically Udemy, for a few more classes. A few months passed, and I felt like I got a good bit more experience making games, so I wanted to try making my own game again. They say, don't make your first game ever your dream game, and in many senses, that's true for VR Mercenary. I set out to create a simple game with a quick loop and okay progression system to keep people engaged. Anyway, as I went through these phases, I couldn't help but imagining the worlds I wanted to create. I stopped trying to make a game just to get one out of the way and started to create a world that I thought both my friends and I would find fun. A large inspiration was Just Cause 2, a game where the player could pretty much do anything and had a grappling hook to fly around the map and cause chaos. It's part of the reason I added a grappling hook to my game. It would give players extra options to traverse the map, and you could zipline through windows, repel up buildings, and even swing around like a Spider-Man if you wanted. I wanted a world that if you wanted, you could take seriously and complete missions, but also one that was just fun to cause chaos in. After a few more months of development, we're at about where I am now. I'm starting to create UI, a black market, as well as other aspects of the game, such as the world, a more sophisticated AI system, and maybe even a home base for players to hang out in. I've really enjoyed learning game development in this past year. I'm excited to see what I'll be able to do in the next coming year with what I know now. If you want to see how I and my VR Mercenary game progress, feel free to follow my game development journey. Or, if you're a fellow solo dev with some advice, I'd love to hear it. Till next time, this has been Constant Anxiety, and have a good one everybody.